I tend to mess around with terrain paint, terrain tools, and all things terrain quite often. Sometimes it turns out good and sometimes it turns out horrendous. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to try something new. So you'll notice in this build that I keep going back and forth with a lot of things. Um, if you're a debug professional, then it definitely makes your starter home a lot. You know, it makes it beautiful and makes it the price reasonable. So this starter home is under 15,000 simoleons. I was even trying to go lower than that, but it started out at a whopping over 34,000 simoleons. And I was like, how? Like really, how? Look at this darn build. How can this be over 30,000 simoleons? But anyway, I, I, something that you'll notice with my starter homes, I do not like to compromise with my beds. My beds are something that I need my sims to be happy with. And a comfortable bed brings joy to my sims life. And it also brings joy to my life. Because if they're happy, then less stress for me, which makes me happy. So in this build, I'm trying to make it as small as possible. Because as you know, the bigger the build, the more the cost. And I'm also trying to compromise not only on the size of the house, but also on the items that I place in the house. If you're a maximalist, I think that's what you, you call it, a maximalist, then yeah, you know, debug is your best friend sometimes when you're dealing with prices. If you're a minimalist, then this is definitely your terrain, just easy breezy and fabulous. <laughs> so for me with, I was trying to make this house <laughs> it looks like a she shed she shack small thing but i mean i'm not unhappy with it i'm okay with it <laughs> but my whole thing with this build i wanted it to be under a certain price so budget friendly um i never like getting like one sim and my budget is 20,000 simoleons and then my house costs 20,000 simoleons and then I'll have to suffer and be hungry. I don't want that. So I'm trying to make a starter home where I can at least feed myself with a decent meal and not macaroni and cheese. <laughs> like no shade to macaroni and cheese, but in real life, I don't eat macaroni and cheese. Not because it's not tasty, but it's just not something I gravitate towards. Like, if I'm hungry, I'm going to say, oh, I want macaroni and cheese. That's just not me. But for my sim, like, a nice polo, what's it called? Polo de, I don't remember what it's called, but chicken. It has chicken with some french fries and vegetables. Like, you know, like, that's a good dinner for my sim. Live in large. Anyway. So for me, I was trying to make this house more of a minimal everything. So less everything. Um, I think in life, as I get older, I also feel like that too. Like I want to declutter everything, declutter my environment. And I'm starting to do that with my sim bills as well. So this was a color that I was like, hmm, do I like it? No, I don't. It doesn't match the theme that I have inside, which is minimalism. And I, I don't associate minimalism with bright, bold colors. I tend to, you know, do that with a more maximalist lifestyle. Another thing, not because your house is a starter house and it's budget friendly doesn't mean it has to be plain. So you don't have to compromise with your roofing. You could add roof trims. Roof trims come in different styles. It comes in different colors and that definitely enhances your build. Another thing that I usually add is I usually love adding big windows to my build because it adds a lot of natural light. So I can economize with the bulbs in the household. Um, having that natural light definitely makes the space opens up the space a lot more too and it's it doesn't look as bad so i did add a lot of things that i didn't need in this build that are not necessities like the fruit basket the plant is not really a necessity a lot of them are more for decor and if i went with a more plain wall i think it would look fine but the wall kind of took too much it, there was too much going on there so i removed a lot of it 
Um, something else that I don't compromise on, my sprinkler system. If I have a starter house, I need my sprinkler system because I don't want my house to burn down as soon as I get it. That always happens to me. Well, when I just started playing the game, but not anymore because I invest in my sprinkler system. My alarm system as well and my thermostat because I had a fireplace in the beginning, but it was too expensive. So having the thermostat definitely gives me variety during the season so this is how the build turned out guys i hope you really liked it if you do you could go ahead and download it off the gallery under my ea id i'll put it on the screen and in the description box is stress robot and you could go ahead and alter it as you please please do i i welcome it to be honest um i'd love to see your take on it you could also tag me or comment and let me know hey i did this build that you did and i'll definitely go check it out a hundred percent so yeah so i titled this starter home on my build and you should find it on the gallery under my ea id stress robot and if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below i do check my comments and i sincerely appreciate everyone that ever took the time out to comment or like or subscribe i sincerely appreciate you guys so thank you so very much for watching i hope y'all have a fantastic wonderful day and see y'all in my next video bye